Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to Azure This Week. I'm Alex Mackey from Redify, standing in for Lars Clint whilst he's away on holiday. So let's kick things off with an item which has the potential to impact developers everywhere. Updates to the Azure SDKs. These updates will impact several Azure products, including storage, key vaults, and event hubs, and across several platforms, including Java, Python, JavaScript, and .NET. One of the big changes in this release is that the libraries will be aligned to a common API approach. This will make them easier to use as they will now be more consistent. Now, the downside of this is that there are some breaking changes in this release, but it's not all bad news as the APIs also now contain support for several recent additions to the services and the SDK samples and documentation have also enjoyed a much needed update. So in summary, now might be a good time to do a little bit of investigation as to the impact these SDK updates will have on your applications, which should hopefully be minimal. Azure Data Share is designed to easily and securely share big data with external organizations and was recently released into preview. So let's say you have some data you want to share. And I should say that this data will currently need to be held in Azure Blob or Azure Data Lake Gen 1 and Gen 2 storage. First up, you'll log into the Azure portal and create a new data share. Next, you select the data you want to share. Now you can get really granular with this and you can go all the way down to individual file level in the case of blob storage. Finally, simply enter the email address of users you want to share the data with. It's important to say at this point that Azure will be sharing a snapshot of the data, not the actual data itself. So if changes do occur after this is set up, then they won't be visible in the data share. Once you have configured your share, the external parties you opted to share the data with will receive an email inviting them to accept the data share. They will then simply select a location to copy the snapshot of the data to, and then they're free to use it to their heart's content. Azure Lighthouse is aimed at service providers who are reselling Azure resources and need to securely manage them at scale. Central to Lighthouse is a capability called Delegated Resource Management that allows customers to delegate permissions to service providers. Delegated resources work at several levels, including subscriptions, resource groups, and even individual resources. Once permissions have been granted to a service provider, they can then perform management operations on the user's behalf. Now, it's important to note that everything you can do in Lighthouse Portal is also supported in PowerShell, Azure CLI, and the REST API, which will make the development of automated solutions much, much easier. Thank you for having me. And next week, Lars will be back refreshed, tanned, and better than ever with more Azure news. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. 